Good morning. So we're at school. We just got here. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty warm outside this morning, considering it was in the teens and single digits last week. I think it was 45. So I just wore a light jacket today. Um, we had to leave earlier. Well, not earlier, but I had to leave after my school improvement team meeting yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to put morning work out. So I'm going to go ahead and put morning work out. And I took home some scholastic news that my students did yesterday and graded them. So that's what we're going to do for literacy this morning during our whole group literacy. And I start TRCs today, which are the reading portion and reading level portion of M class. And unfortunately, I don't get to test my kids. I have to test other second graders. So I'm gonna start that today. I have two left to do on the fluency part of my students that weren't here yesterday. So I'm going to get morning work out and put up my morning routine board and get the day started. This is what I'm putting out for morning work. I usually do grammar sheets in the morning, not always, but they're pretty familiar with this kind of morning work. So there's some rhyming words, vowel sounds, um, spelling, punctuation, that sort of thing. And so they work on this when they come in and then I'll check it. And once it's checked, then I'll put a smiley face on it and they can glue it in their literacy journal, which is in their desk. my in-class testing with other students from other classes this morning and I got five started which I'm pretty happy about since it's only the second day of the testing window um, one of them got finished and I so far been pretty impressed with their work now these students are from other classes so I don't really know them that well but I can see where they're coming from which is nice and then see if they made growth or not but we're having hamburgers at school today and I love hamburgers at school so I'm gonna go eat my lunch and chat with my team and then when my kids get back we're gonna do an activity for wants and needs so sorry I haven't filmed much today this is my table as you can see I've been testing all morning I don't know if I will test any more today we have social studies and then specials and we are meeting I'm meeting with my team today to go over some tips for M class and some things that we're doing. We also need to talk about some information I found out from the school improvement team meeting yesterday and plan and our field trip. So, it's a busy day. House, food, trees, and water. Oh yes, you definitely need those things to survive. And need one more there. Can you color your little pictures that yeah. you drew? What do you want? What are some wants you have? Toys, TV. story, video games, I'm not good with drawing children. That's okay. TV and camera. Very good. All of those are wants, and these are your needs. What are these? TV. Got Healthy it. food, trees, air, oxygen. Oh, you could color that little heart red. Why do you need trees? To survive because they give you oxygen. Exactly. Very good. Can you tell me your need, what you wrote for your needs? A house, water, and trees, and this is going to be a water mountain. Why do you need a house? Because you have to have shelter, and you don't want to be walking around in the rain where you get struck by lightning. Yeah. One, two, three. Whatever you've done in this before. Huh? 
chapter six, campfire. And you can see that um, running this camp is a uh, good little Uncle Murray. And he says, dogs, it's been a long day. And we're going to have even more fun tomorrow. But I'm tired. I'm going to turn in. You guys can stay up for a while. Just don't forget to put out this fire before you go to sleep. And don't stay up too late telling ghost stories. <laughs> Good night. Now you can see at this camp, uh, is, there's Petunia, who I've used before in my books. There's Puppy. Katie uh, looks a little bit off. And the new character, his name is Toby. Toby is based actually on my own dog, who is coincidentally also me. So, and he says, you guys want to hear a really scary story? It's a bit. It's a hoop. It'll knock your socks off. It's a little tale I call The Attack of the Zombie Cat Dogs. Once there was a brave dog. Swell guy, smart, handsome too. No trouble with the ladies. Smell nice. But the poor guy, he had to live with this cat. Bad news, right? It was a cat. Look weird, smell weird, litter. Did I mention that I hate testing? I just got back in the room from dismissal. Today has been a very wild and crazy busy day, as most days are. We did, however, have something really exciting today. We got to listen to the author of Bad Kitty. You saw in some previous clips that he was at our school, so that was really exciting. and. It's just so intriguing to the kids to actually see a real author of a book that they really know. And it's like a famous person is in our school. So it was really fun and I was interested as well. So after the author's presentation, we went outside to get some fresh air and let my kids run around because they were super squirmy. And then by the time we came back in, I had no time for math. So we went over homework and packed up and had a little chat and now they're going home. So I'm going to work on grading some papers. I did some grading during the author's presentation. I actually took some stuff in there with me to grade. I'm going to catch up on some grading, look over my plans, and see if I have everything ready for tomorrow. I also have some testing materials still out that I need to sort through and make sure they are all scored and in the system and then clean that up. So look at this song that we sang today. It goes to the tune London Bridge and it was really fun because I would sing it and the kids would help me sing and then I would choose a student to fill in the blank. So it's like needs are things we have to have, have to have, have to have, needs are things we have to have and then I would say like Paisley needs a house. <laughs> wants are things we'd like to have, like to have, like to have. Wants are things we'd like to have. Paisley wants a bicycle. So it was fun and my kids really enjoyed it. What do you know? The posters fell again. I do not know how to keep them up there. I've tried masking tape. I've tried packing tape. I've tried hot glue. So... So if you have any tips or tricks on how to keep posters on the wall in your classroom, comment down below and let me know because I need some help. As you can see, we are in the car and we're going home. I feel like my vlogs are so boring. I actually, one of my team teachers came in at like 3.30 and we stood and talked about interventions for our kids who aren't showing much growth and what we were going to do to improve their fluency. Because now that we're doing our testing, we kind of know where they're at and what they need and so we have to put some interventions in place to try to get them to grow. And we were looking for interventions to do for fluency, but we were kind of stuck because we didn't know if they should be doing it on grade level. But we talked about that for a little while and then I did some research on the internet trying to find some um, research-based interventions that we could do for fluency. Sounds like fun, huh? Not Today, really. Today, I read with my 
M class teacher. A level K. Yeah. Miss Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I read a level K. And the question was the easiest question in my in the whole world. So Paisley read on a level K today, which is really good because in first grade, they should be on a level G in the middle of the year. So she's a little above that, which is great. By the middle of the year in kindergarten, I was on G and that, and I mean H, and that's where you were supposed to be at the end. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Practice makes perfect. So we are leaving, getting ready to head home. It is about 20 minutes till five. I'm hoping I don't hit five o'clock traffic, but we are gonna go home and make some dinner and Paisley's got lots of homework to do. And I have some things that I need to do as well. I brought some papers home to grade and some things to sort through, so we're gonna do that. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that it's not too terribly boring because I feel like I say the same things every day and my hair is sticking out. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so if you like this video, make sure to click on the thumbs up button down below this video to let us know if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos from us, and we will see you all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye.